Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to a brand new episode of Last Fan Colony. The last time we left off, we were just trying to survive and get technology going forward and all that good stuff. This time, let's see what happens. If you're excited to see what happens today, remember to like, subscribe, do all those other lovely things that help support the channel. Go on down to our link to our link in the description. Find all of the other various different places that we do stuff, support us there. Share this video anywhere you can. And, of uh, course, if you're an especially attractive and well-educated watcher, go on down to our Patreon via that link to your link in the description. Pledge even just $1 a month and get your name in the game. Join them in the mighty, mighty ranks of Mike the Microphone, our number one uh, patron of all time, and Tollpans are our number one watcher of all time. That's right, this game, by the way, as you can see in the top left, we name our peoples after uh, followers. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna... There's a bulk goods trader. Tollpanzer is freaking out. Uh, who has the best social here? We should, we should absolutely train that up. Here we go, Gatomia. You have social. Social it up, Gatomia. Do it. Get all of the goods. Yeah, we're making a new hospital, also. Like, a dedicated hospital, making it closer. Nice big building. Gets things done. Dedicated place. It'll be. It'll have entirely sterile tiles. It's gonna be great. It's not super great right now, but it's gonna be great. Let's speed things up. Uh, we don't remember if we've done anything with you. We clearly have. Okay. Uh, at the same time. We're just gonna give you all of our elephant meat. They don't appreciate it. Probably because they're already at 100. That's fine. Alright. So, uh, yeah, everything's back here now, as you can see. We've got a full research center. One day we'll make it even cooler. Don't know how. We'll, we'll fix it up a little bit. Go to go to Hinla. We clearly nope. We can't. We have to wait. That is a shame. A shame. Got a mechanoid workshop. Still don't know what it does or how to use it. <clears throat> you know, as the as it goes. And uh, what's our work? Gorilla revenge. Nobody cares. Uh, okay, yeah, and everything's just fine. Alright. Yeah, that's not gonna work, buddy. Okay, we did not know that that one was, uh, whatevered. Yeah, just wipe everything out on the... Right! We have, uh... We're blocked out by the sun right now. Is that a time limit thing? Or are we going to have to go send our small army of mechanoids to go kill those mechanoids? Oh, actually, I will not. This is how we do it. Right. Uh, time left 43 days. So we could go kill it, or we could wait 43 days. Honestly, we don't use social, or uh, we don't use solar right now, not yet. We think we're just going to wait it out. We can wait 43 days, big deal. We have ample food stores and we think as long as that remains the case, we don't have to worry about it. We have 43 days of food. We also have a robot house. Good. Things are looking better. Plenty of plants will rot away. But we will still manage certain things. And soon, if absolutely necessary, we can work on things like hydroponics and grow lights 
that is, after all, part of what we've been dealing with. Grow lamps. Power efficient grow light designed for indoor use with a built in timer. Could be good, could be good. Are we like done? Apparently not, okay. Go kill that thing. You're right there. Shoot, 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 shoot. Jeez. You are really hitting on the mark every time, aren't you? This bad boy is tough. But, like anything, still mortal. Slowly but surely, we are building the new hospital. <clears throat> we may also maintain our food stocks, based, of course, on... Uh, based, of course, on animals that we hunt. As you do. There will always be something for the animals to eat. So it seems. Soil is being put up. So when the sun finally does come back. We'll be able to completely expand all of our farming across the river. And make a self-sufficient farm community. Something that we really appreciate as a farmer. And all of the farming will be done in an orderly fashion, in sets of rows. These are things that do not require the sun. Dwarf style. <laughs> Alright. That side is good. We have enough silver, fortunately. Uh, sterile tiles uh, sterile tiles require silver, like, a lot. Fortunately, we have a lot. Alright, and we always want to go there, but that's not where it is anymore. Alright, let's go check out 15 hours still. Darn. We have a good, fully capable kitchens. Everything's going pretty decent. Can do. It does suck that pretty much everything on the map is going to rot and die, though. Like... Oh, those are just burned. But sometimes there's nothing you can do, right? Just have to rely on other methods. Specifically ones made by ourselves. Also, a lot of training going on here today. It's good times. Very good times. A lot of training going down. We love it. Look at that. Hospital being made. In due time, we'll fill up this back area, but we'll gradually fill it up with level 5s and level 4s. <clears throat> Don't get us wrong, some robots are useful no matter what level they are. Uh, medical ER bots are not. <laughs> they are actually a hindrance at level 1. They only have 4 medical and can botch things like surgeries. Meanwhile, a builder can always at least mine. People do still seem to enjoy the rec room. 
And uh, what was it we needed? Needed a harp. For whatever reason. It's just like, it's non-negotiable. A harp is required. Who does the researching? Don't, doesn't like everybody do the researching now? Yeah, pretty much everybody does the researching. And yet nobody is doing the researching. Probably because they're doing the training. Uh, yes, absolutely because they're doing the training. Uh, how about we give one to Eset and we give one to Tiro. Bam! More dogs for everybody. Hyper Weavers. Alright. Here are all of the lovely apartments. As we recall. Yeah, yeah. Plasteel Bulb. Still nobody working. Yeah, everybody does entertain because it's just a good opportunity to train your social. Shoot more things. Clearly, that is the answer. Oh, an eclipse! Almost as though the sun would be blocked out again. Who cares? Oh man, and we still do have a lot of plants and stuff. Okay. Great. Yeah, we just don't mind. We do wish people would research more. Did we get bioregeneration at some point? Oh, well, that's not good. Yeah, you need to get out of there, man. Get a little help. Okay. Yeah, we're like, yeah, you gotta go, man. It's cool. And because of the volatile nature of these fools, they just shoot him from, from long distance. As you probably would. A wine merchant, eh? I... We're pretty fond of wine. In a, you know, conceptual sort of way. I don't drink it very often, but we've had some wines that are very tasty. You know? Wine, sure, yeah. Oh man, we want to tear these mechanoids apart so bad. Break them to pieces. Plasteel bulb has died. It's because there's no sun, yeah. Wow, look at that. The hospital is like 75 plus percent done. <clears throat> Nobody cares how disappointed they are. We're literally stuck in an eternal night right now. You think we care? We're not here to impress you, we're here to make money. Speaking of which... And we think we'll... do exotic goods for those guys, actually. Oh, looks like Atomia is... working it, and having been boosted by skill trainers, they now are a somewhat reasonable researcher. They are a weak professional. Like, uh, like an intern. 
<clears throat> you're still learning, but boom, right here on the job training. Not getting coffee or none of that, of course. Alright. How are the animals? Okay. Kill those. Good. Good. It is a little sad that we will be plunged in eternal night for a while. Hey, Tolpanzer, go get us some wine. Everybody loves a little wine, right? Ooh, whoa, whoa, wait a second. Really? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna learn beer brewing. And yeah, we're gonna learn heel root tree. Don't know what a freaking heel root tree is, but we're gonna learn it. Excellent. Ve quite most excellent. The land, it chafes under the eternal night. But we continue on. Remaining stalwart. And authoritative. The land is turning from stone to dirt. The people, when all of this comes out, will be better. We will be stronger. Good. Good. And now we have two more. Two more under our belt. Beautiful wine barrel. That's what we're talking about. And fermenting barrel. Mm. Excellent, excellent. Let's heal root tree they're talking about. Show us this fantastic heel root tree. Heel root tree. Genetically engineered to disinfect its own product. Slightly less warm climates. Okay, so it's just heel root, we guess. But a tree. Trees, generally speaking, are not great in this game. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Alright, it's looking like we're finally, uh, finally getting this rice area how it's supposed to be. So as soon as they're done over here, we'll shrink down this area and then put another layer. Yeah. And then we'll plop down some flooring, as one does. And then we'll shrink this, like, all the frickin' way down. So now we got rice. We have a proper rice zone. Yeah. And hopefully that will do well. But worry not. Blam. <coughs> 
That will be our next zone. Excellent. Quality 90s Nickelodeon Entertainment. Not sure what that's going to have. But it's going to have something. Uh, how about we make... How about we grow? Uh, we got pumpkins already. We got squash already. Watermelons? I do love a good watermelon. Hope. We are reinstalling this here. Sorry, we are reinstalling this here. And then we are going to, uh, one moment, we're going to remove uh, this bridge. Battle Droid 3. Okay, thank you, Battle Droid 3. And then we are going to remove this bridge. And then reclaim this bit of soil. And that will be good. Well, maybe we'll do that in a little bit. How many animals we got? Another Thrumbo Calf. Believe it or not, that's good. That's really good. One day we will have an entire population of thrombos, a whole herd of thrombos, the likes of which will turn back any and all enemies of our settlement and trample them into the dust. Thrombo 1, for example, it's only a matter of time until he gets Laz as a partner. <clears throat> and once that happens... Well, let's just say Laz will have an armored thrombo around. Look at that, isn't that great? Slowly but surely, the zone is being expanded. Things are getting better. People are getting stronger. The land is being worked and eventually healed. Good. Yeah! The goods! Baby! Come on in, we got plenty. We got rice, we got corn, we got potatoes. We got it all right now. We got a brand new Fully finished hospital. Can you believe it? We can. And we'll just bloop. Look at that. Cablam. Mmm. Not great. Exotic goods trader from Quera. Great. And then we'll have the bulk goods from uh, the other person soon. Where are they from? Where are they coming from? Got one dude from over here. They must be much closer. Boom! Right here. Okay. Alright, Tulpanzer. Get a move on. Trade with Isis. Robot, 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 <clears throat> as you do. We actually think we are going to deconstruct that and bring it at... Mm, 
bring it to here. At least to there. And then that trading spot will be dismantled. No more chickens. Uh, for once, we think we're actually going to keep all of our elephants and stuff since we've got so many people working on them. Let's just look and see if you got any robots. As a matter of fact, you do. Not only do you have some robots... You have many robots. You have many good robots. Good friends. Here, have these books. Uh, we'll keep those taming artifacts for some rare thrombo herds. Let's get rid of uh, all of this. Right, let's keep the light leather. Actually, no, you can just take all of the light leather. You can take all of the hemp fabric. Yeah, that's what we thought. You don't really have enough to, to set up against us. Oh, we have some uh, pegs. We forgot. Alright, alright. Now let's see what you really have to offer here, okay? Now that we've, now that we've waved our, you know, respective bits around. How about we get serious? What do you got? You got, uh... Okay, that's a little better. Here we go. Boom! A hundred percent. Now this... Whoops. This will go here. And this will go all the way down here. And this will go in the craft area all the way down here. Right here. Yeah. And then Toll Panzer will go back to Isis and buy another robot. A holler bot. Yeah, we thought so. And then we'll just wave our hands around and be like, have, have that. Have whatever you need to make yourself feel better about the transaction. Here. Boom. Okay. So, now we have even more haulers. This pleases us greatly. Like, really, really greatly. Because haulers are always useful. They're just the, the veins and lifeblood of your society pump, pumping. However, Tolpanzer, your job is not up. We are sorry to tell you. You must now go trade with more people, as is the nature of your... of your stuff, of just how you do things. Ship reactor startup, nobody cares. Alright, exotic folks. We have plenty of money to deal with you, so what have you to deal with us? We don't want your crappy ER station. Bionic tongue? Oh, well, maybe. I don't need to replace a tongue, though, right now. Ooh, mead brewing, though. Mm -hmm. And we will, of course, be taking your intellectual and animal skill trainers to make everything more easy. A free battle droid might not be bad. Let's see everything we might want. Okay. Oh, wow, we have a lot of Glitter World medicine. Didn't even know. 
Alright, alright. You may have, first and foremost, our baby goats. You're lucky to get them. They're adorable. Uh... Okay, so realistically speaking, we don't actually need the battle droid. And we don't actually need the psychic animal tamers. We will keep mead brewing, because hell yeah. Uh, limestone modern computer. Okay, we'll take that. Ooh. Kind of been wondering if we should just start gathering up, like, Psy Trainers, but we're going to resist the urge for now. Alright, so what can we give you fools that you'll accept? Alright. Maybe not. Yes! Absolutely! Here we go. Okay. Boom! Super nice. Let's take... Take this. Let's put it in the rec room. Kablam! Look at that! Quality. All sorts of things to keep us in the loop with the people that we care about. Which are the people that are good for business. Even as our plants die. Sad but true. We are still continuing to hunt animals. And that will keep us alive. Chinchillas, destroy them. Are we going to get our last uh, potential finger here? We might actually start uninstalling. Whoops. Dude. We weren't done with that. Yeah, we might start just to just to save up. It takes up a lot of uh, things being taken care of and uh, frankly we don't want to clog everything up. So we're going to get rid of all of these level 1 boys. All of them. Alright. All of these. Now uninstall. And then we'll probably sell all of them off to one of these people. As you do. This should also, overall, increase the speed of our game. And everybody moving in it, since we will have, like, ten less things moving around at all times. Totally cool. I forget to put where I was supposed to. Totally did. And ER... Right where it want, we want it to be. So we are at this point actually waiting for everybody else. Okay. And everybody else in our builder. Okay. 
Yo, let's see if we can... Doink, uninstall, do that or not. Screw you then. So we will get rid of all of the level one builder bots. No more of them. We're just not going to be using those anymore. They're outdated models. They occasionally botch things. But we will activate everybody else. Alright. Says the exotic goods trader. So we do have a degree of importance in endearing ourselves to the exotic goods trader. So let's go. We can actually get other things from Say that we couldn't before. Well, with all of the uh, robots that we're buying out. So, it's good. It's actually really good. You uh, are recharging. Okay. Nice. Things going a little bit faster. Less bloat. Less clog. There's like 10 different robots we just pulled out. So, yeah. Advanced Meganoid Chip. Uh, all of these guys. They are all 100% yours. Extra good. Uh, bionic Tongue. It's just silly. Let's just get a yak. Let's not get a yak. Here, we'll sell you some bread for it. There you go, man. Now, somebody, Laz, okay, we stand corrected. <laughs> Nobody will do anything of the sort, we suppose. What? Oh, no. Don't have anything to do with that anymore. There, that's a glitchy ding. They, they just consolidated all of our blueprints into one thing. We hate that so much, because that means we just lost that blueprint. Oh well, it was a pretty decent day. If you liked what you saw here today, remember to like, subscribe to all those other lovely things that help support the channel. Go on down to our link tree link in the description. Find all the other various different places that we do stuff. Support us there. Share this video anywhere you can. And if you're an especially attracted and well-educated watcher, go on down to our Patreon via that link tree link in the description. And pledge even just $1 a month to help support the cause and join the mighty, mighty ranks of Mike the Microphone, our number one patron of all time, and Toll Panzer, our number one watcher of all time. Get your name in the game, as you can see at the top left, usually. Uh, because, you know, we name our, uh, colonists after patrons. Thanks a bunch for coming, everybody. Stay safe, stay inside, stay healthy, and of course, remember to help each other. Bye!